Hey guys, it's me, Daniel. Tell me the Bible. If you want to join? Today's passage comes from Genesis chapter 22, the sacrifice of Isaac. After these things, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Take your son, your one and only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I should tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. He cut the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place which God had told him. On the day, on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place from afar. Then Abraham said to the young men, Stay here with the donkey. I and the boy will go over there and worship to come back to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son. And he took in his hand the fire and the knife. So both of them went together, and Isaac said to his father Abraham, My father. And he said, Here I am, my son. He said, F he said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? God said, God will, Abraham said, God will provide for himself the lamb and a burnt offering, my son. So they went, both of them, together. And when they came to the place of God, they came to the place of which God had told him. Abraham built the altar there and laid the wood in order and bound his son Isaac on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham had reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the angel of the Lord called from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing that you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him was a ram, caught in the thicket by its horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the name of that place the Lord will provide, as it is to this day, on the mount of the Lord that shall be provided. And the angel of the Lord called down to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, so declares the Lord, because you have done this, and you have not withheld your son, your only son, surely I will bless you, and I will surely multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven and on the sand that is on the seashore. And your enemies, and your offspring shall possess the gates of his enemies, and in the offspring of all, all the nations and all the earth will be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. So Abraham had returned to his young men, and they arose and went to Beersheba, and Abraham lived at Beersheba. After these things had been told to Abraham, behold, Milcah has also born children to your brother Nahor. Uz is his firstborn, Buz is his brother, and Camille the father of Aram. Chesed, Hazo, Pildash, Jephlad, and Bethuel. Bethuel fathered Rebekah. These eight children bore to Nahor, Abraham's brother. Moreover, his concubine, whose name was Rama, bore Teba, Gaham, Tahash, and Maka. That was from Genesis chapter 2. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and ring that bell below. Bye!